Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Carlson from the Grove Animal Hospital and Holistic Center. I'm, this evening I'm going to be going over case number 00334. This is a two-year-old domestic long-haired feline with symptoms of licking really all over with uh, scabs on the spine. And uh, past treatments have been of prednisone, Claritin, Depo, and Omega-3 fish oil. So, and uh, what we're looking at first of all is is what's contributing and the contribution can be chronic or it can be stressed and if we look at the base point readings we see that the chronic area is skin and this is what we need to balance in order to see resolution because that's the main contributor to the current symptoms the other 29 were balanced, so, and that's a good thing. But it, balance means right now they're in a good place, they're making a contribution to getting well, but over time we may see those in transition, so they may, may be moving towards stress, or they may be moving towards weakness. So, just because it's just one thing, we just have, we have a relatively young cat, so we don't have a whole lot going on. But if we can balance the skin over time, then we can see better results, especially if we're going to other modalities of treatment over here. So how are we gonna treat this? Well, first of all is we need, my pen's dying a little bit. So hemp oil, uh, skin infusion, and three to five drops daily. And that's for three months. So it's gonna take three months for us to balance the skin out. Uh, in the short term, I like to add one thing nutritionally, and so uh, I like standard process. Um, there's other companies, but AC Carbamide is a great product for the immune system, and these are specific for the not only for the skin but this patient's skin. So it's directly customized to not only the imbalance, but what specifically to use for that imbalance. So, um, so we'll use this as directed. The hemp oil needs to be two things. In the short term, if we have symptoms, uh, we may have to come back to more of the control meds over here. But if we can, if we're comfortably licking, then I don't want to suppress that because it's the body's way of getting rid of things and clearing so we want to make sure that that process is complete so there's a number of questions down here and and uh, one is what are the next steps if the drops don't help and that's a great question because over time this first round may not be enough this is a with chronic cases, it's more of conditioning them back to health. So in the first round, if we don't see results, we continue with the process. Um, do the results rule out this happening from food sensitivities? The answer is yes, because we had no sensitivities on the list and you notice that there's no allergies. So this isn't an allergic response. This is true skin weakness, and the skin is a natural barrier, so if that natural barrier breaks down, it's pretty much susceptible to anything from air to contact with any kind of fabric or, or chemical and things like that, so it, they don't have to be sensitive. If the skin's weak, you've got something that they're not sensitive to just gaining access to the body, so we've got to strengthen the skin's natural barrier. Um, Will this uh, stress the patient out to be gone? Cats and dogs uh, tend to stress when we leave. So that's, make sure we're using some B12, especially if they're doing a lot of licking, that sometimes is a pacifier. And the question about underlying fungal infection from the shelter, um, the answer at least at this point is no, but could the, a fungus been uh, at least an underlying factor related to skin weakness the answer is yes so uh, anything that could weaken the skin is one of those things but we started out with skin weakness and then the fungus got access much easier 
So what does weak skin mean? How to improve this? Um, weak skin means the natural barrier has been broken down and we have to strengthen that. Okay, so uh, this will take some time to resolve. Overall health score is really good, you know, because 29 of the things right now are balanced. And uh, the skin biopsy and culture often gives us a snapshot of what the skin looks like. But it doesn't tell us, it tells us what and where. IHT tells us why. Skin natural barrier is weakened. So it's allowing normal things that would not have access to the body to, to gain access and cause inflammation. Um, and this I already answered, no allergies. Uh, and licking has, since the visit uh, has increased and probably changes outside. It can be inside too, it doesn't matter because with weak skin that, that natural barrier, if this would be normally sealed off if you have little cracks in the skin microscopic cracks then allergens or, or products not allergens can gain access to the skin and create inflammation even though they're not allergic to it and any danger of more than three drops of hemp oil no it's very safe i've had owners uh who said you know three drops a day they gave three droppers full a day no problems. If you give too much, you're going to cause diarrhea. So, but uh, these are great questions. If you have more, 847 541 4005 is our phone number. Girlpets at yahoo.com is our, our uh, email that you can ask more questions as well. But uh, I'd like to try to visit a couple more times, keep track of the skin. But uh, if you have questions in between, please give us a call. Thank you.